Another issue is heating up in Cleveland tonight. Things got intense during a meeting at Cleveland City Hall today over a second review of firefighters' payroll abuse. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was at that meeting. And, Paul, this internal audit is going to lead to changes for keeping track of sick time and overtime for firefighters. Well, that's true, Leon, and it could also lead to criminal charges. I got to tell you, Chief, the people that want to work, we got to get rid of them. Cleveland City Councilman Mike Polenzik fed up and fired up over firefighters abusing sick time and overtime. They don't want to come to work. They don't want to work in, in clement weather. And as a result, they have cast a cloud over the, remain, uh, the, over the firefighters, men and women who want to perform. The new internal audit and investigation of payroll abuse in the Cleveland Fire Department showed 205 firefighters committed excessive sick leave, which led to shift trading and overtime abuse at taxpayer expense. Your record keeping was so bad and your documentation was so bad, I'm sitting here saying, could it have been more than 205? Some firefighters abused sick time so much they lived out of state months at a time in places like California, Florida, and got paid. On average, six or seven firefighters call in sick daily. But last Thanksgiving, 31 firefighters called in sick, delivering big overtime to the firefighters who got called in. Union leaders' response? It was an anomaly. I, it, was, it was an anomaly. It was, it was double the, the number from the previous year on Thanksgiving. It was an anomaly. I mean, anomalies occur in math. Cleveland Safety Director Marty Flask said payroll abuse so excessive, criminal charges could be filed. We have hired a special investigator who's working with police internal affairs to determine whether or not there was any criminality. It's clear there were firefighters and individuals who totally abused the system. Now, city leaders promised changes today here at City Hall during this meeting with the Safety Committee. Gone will be outdated timesheets done on paper. New computer software will keep track of payroll electronically and will red flag any payroll abuse. Fingerprint and handprint technology will be used to punch in and punch out. And everyone at today's meeting wanted to thank the Cleveland firefighters who do their job every day for this city. There are 783 firefighters in the city of Cleveland.